This is one of the highest yield chemistry topics on the MCAT. Question five. Approximately how many moles of aluminum 3 plus are produced? 1.1 Faraday of charge passes through a cell during the production of aluminum. And we have to assume that there is excess aluminum cations available and that aluminum cations are reduced to aluminum metal only. So the way we do this is we have to recognize, first of all, that one farad is equal to approximately uh, 96.5 times 10 to the third coulombs of charge. But what is this charge that is actually reducing the aluminum? Well, to reduce aluminum, it has to gain electrons. So it's gaining some number of electrons. How many coulombs of charge are carried in one electron? Well, we have to also have this memorized. This is the elementary charge, which is that one electron right, has 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs of charge. And this is the case also with a proton, except the electron is negative and the proton is positive. So our first step is actually going to be to convert uh, the farads into coulombs, okay? So here we have 0.1 farads, and then we're going to convert that to number of electrons, okay? So we have 0.1 farads, and so we're going to multiply this by 96.5 times 10 to the third coulombs pair 1 farad. So the farads cancel, and this is, 0.1 is 1 tenth, so this will just be 2, okay? So this is going to be 96.5 times 10 to the second, right? Because we basically just divided 96.5 times 10 to the third by 10. And so this is going to be coulombs. And now we want to convert coulombs to electrons, so let's do that. Coulombs times, well, we want electrons at the top because that's what we want to get. And we know that there is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 uh, coulombs in one electron, okay? So if we multiply, because 1.6, you know, if we multiply that by 10 briefly, it's 16. 16 times 6, well, that's going to be 60. And then 6 times 6 is 36, so 60 plus 6 is 96, okay? And we have 96 uh, right here, okay? So what we can what we can actually say here, all right, is that if we, if we move this decimal point over like that, and then in doing this, we're going to actually turn this into negative 20, all right? This is basically 96 divided by 16, which is going to be about 6. Okay, 6. So that's that's the coefficients done. And then we know that, you know, there's still 10 to the second, multiplied by 10 to the second. And this is all multiplied by 1 over 10 to the negative 20. Now, if you're, basically, if you have the same base and you're dividing two things with the same base that are raised to some power, you're just going to subtract the power. So it's 2 minus, and notice that it's minus 20, so minus 20, which becomes a plus. So this is going to be equal, actually, to 6 times 10 to the 22nd. Okay, because you're adding them now. And that's electrons. Now, the electrons, we need to figure out how many of these electrons correspond to aluminum, right? Well, for one thing, to go from 3 plus to neutral aluminum, which is aluminum zero, okay, you use, you use three electrons. So we want to convert this to aluminum metal now. So for one aluminum metal, we're going to use three electrons. So we just have to divide this. So this is going to be, well, six divided by three is just two. So it's going to be two times 10 to the 22nd aluminum, okay? And this is particles of aluminum, right? So how do we get this to moles? Well, we need to remember that in one mole, there is six times 10 to the 23rd uh, particles of something, which is Avogadro's number. So we're just going to have to divide this by Avogadro's number, which is 10, 2 times 10 to the 22nd, multiplied by 1 mole, and in 1 mole there is 6 times 10 to the 23rd particles, or aluminum in this case, okay? This is just regular aluminum, this is moles of aluminum. So these cancel, and we're going to get, well, 2 divided by 6 is 1 third, okay? Multiplied by 10 to the 22nd, minus 10 to the 23rd, uh, okay? So this is going to be equal, ultimately, to 1 third times 10 to the negative first power, okay? So this is going to be the same thing as 0.3 times 1 over 10, which is simply going to be 0 0.03 moles, okay? 0 0.03 moles of aluminum produced. And so A, right, is the closest to the right answer. So that's going to be our answer.